Finally, we've been blessed with a release window. Surely it'll be released by June 12th of 2023. Huh. Oh well. Now it's my time to shine. Part 2. Last video, I spent two weeks creating the fundamental mechanics of my fan-made Hollow Knight Silksong game. In this video, I'll be spending another week, but this time, I'll be adding more intricate mechanics. Anyways, let's get started. Day 16 to 17. In the Silk Song reveal trailer, it was shown that Hornet can wield various tools, which are equipments that offer the player numerous new playstyles and effects. There are three types of tools that were shown. These red tools, which are active use weapons, but with limited use. There are also these blue and yellow tools, which I have absolutely no clue what they do. Despite four years since Silk Song's announcement, there is still so much we don't know about the game. So I'm just guessing that these tools provide some sort of passive ongoing effect or something like that. Spoiler alert, basically everything I'm making in this video is mostly speculation and I'm most likely going to be wrong. What are those? But oh well. So I only made a few tools that I had SOME understanding of how they worked. One of such tools is this straight pin, a small kunai-like blade that can be thrown straight through the air, hitting a single target. It also has this amazing feature to completely disregard gravity, but once any of the red tool is completely depleted, it can no longer be used, unless you craft more at a bench. Oops, wrong bench. In Hollow Knight, there are these benches in which the players can rest to replenish their health and save their progress, such that the player can only rest on the bench if they press up whilst inside the bench's collider. Now that's one cool bug! Next, I made this pin pillar tool, which is basically a bomb that explodes on contact. I added this nice, dramatic camera shake to the explosion, to give it more oomph, because without the camera shake, yeah, it's kind of pathetic. Then I made this thumbtack slash caltrop like tool, which is just a more terrifying addition to stepping on Legos. This tool led to a lot of balancing issues. Right now, these thumbtacks deal continuous damage as long as an enemy is still making contact with it. In order to make it less broken, I changed it so that once it deals damage, it will have a cooldown before it can deal damage again. Also, I made it so that it only can hit a few times before it just shrinks to the point of non-existence, as you do. Also, in the trailer in which the cow traps were revealed, you can see that they can bounce and spin around a bit, but they still manage to land upright. I tried to recreate that, emphasis on tried. It became a matter of chance if it landed correctly. But thanks to my good friend Dr. Google, the all-knowing entity, except for the things it doesn't know, I found out that you can have two colliders on the same object, but with different physics, such that one side is incredibly bouncy whilst the other one is not. Uh... Good enough. Anyways, I designed a simple inventory system where the player can select which tool they want to equip. Despite the tools having different behaviours, they all inherit from the same abstract class, similar to the enemies in my previous video, such that the player script can have a single reference to any of these tools despite them having different scripts. I added one last active tool, which was this moving sword blade, because it wouldn't be a Hollow Knight game without one. Basically, upon touching the ground, the sword blade will open up and start carving a path. Day 18 minus 9. Ugh. Okay, before we get started, full disclaimer! I have absolutely no clue what crests are. It's been more than four years since the announcement of Silk Song, and crests were only shown two ish times? Doesn't really explain much though, just some screenshots and a few short clips, leaving the rest to your interpretation. I'm guessing that each of these crests affects Hornet's playstyle in some way? Seriously, I don't know what's going on, this is all just speculations. Firstly, crest seems to be equipped through the same inventory menu as the tools which can be visually confirmed outside the inventory by looking at the player's HUD. Instead of making a completely new animation for each directional attack, I programmed it so that I used the same animation, but the slash that is visible is determined by which crest is equipped, which saves me a bunch of time. However, I noticed that in the trailer that some of the crests have completely different attack patterns, and some don't even have any footage. In other words, I had to create several entirely separate animations, but I managed to reduce the need to rewrite my already horrendous animated controller by using Unity's blend trees. Now that the animations are done, I began coding each crest to have their own unique features. To keep things simple, I developed four crests, Wanderer, Reaper, Harp Enthusiast, and Beast Mode. For the Harp Enthusiast crest, it only requires six silk notches instead of nine to heal. Also, I made it so that their special attacks deal more damage. 
but it has a shorter attack range and does less basic damage. Whereas for Beast Mode, you'll do greater basic damage but weaker special damage. Finally, the Reaper Crest has slightly weaker basic and special attack damage than the Wondrous Crest, but it has the greatest range. Because the only things you can't escape from in life is tax and death. Also, I made it so that both the Reaper and Beast Crest have a slower heal speed, just like this trailer. Uh, th these two days. Next up, I wanted to create some proper levels. I used the same tile map method as before, which allowed me to create the scenes fairly quickly. Honestly, I have no experience in level design, so I just put the tiles where I thought it looked cool. Anyways, each area is completely isolated from one another, and the way in which the player traverses each scene is basically, I create a box that contains information of the new scene and position of the exit point of that scene, such that when the player enters the box, it will teleport the player to their specified scene and position. In the Hollow Knight series, when you defeat an enemy and leave the area, if you were to go back to that area, the enemy that you defeated will be nowhere to be found, until you rest on a bench again, for some reason. In order to recreate this, I created a hash map, which is essentially a godlike cheat code for programmers. Basically, imagine a giant list of unique names and you had to find a certain name. Typically, you would slowly go down the list one by one until you eventually locate the matching name. But with the help of hash maps, they can instantly find the name. First try! So if you want to get better at coding, hash maps. Want to ace a coding interview? Hash maps. If the problem is not coding related, hash maps. We'll probably not help you there. Anyways, whilst you're still walking in, each enemy will ask the divine hash map if their name is registered. If it is, they are taken to the Shadow Realm. Lastly, I added some arenas, which essentially traps and forces the player to survive several waves of enemies. Once all enemies currently present in the room are defeated, the wave will check for any further enemies to spawn. If there are none, then the wave is cleared and the player can advance. This. After finishing the level design, I went back to making a few more tools, but the passive cyan tool this time. I spent many, many seconds workshopping what some of these passive tools can do. Firstly, I created this shield-like thing that appears to protect the last player's HP by taking hits in its place. It's like having 3 extra health, but they're once off. Furthermore, I also made this spool extended thingamabob, which upgrades the maximum capacity of the player's special meter allowing Hornet to hold 3 extra silk notches. As a result, the player can use the extended capacity to unleash more special attacks, or have some reserve for healing. Lastly, I decided to add one more special attack. In this trailer, we can see that Hornet rudely bumped through these bugs that are just minding their own business. Anyways, it is just a deadly dash that also gives the player invincibility. It is not as strong as the Stabby Stabby Strike skill, but it's great for speedrunning and getting out of a tough spot. And that, my friends, is how I made Hollow Knight Silk Song by in 3 weeks. Before anything else, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Falum's musician, Guthia, for generously allowing me to use his fan made Hollow Knight Silk Song music for this little project of mine. You can check out his channel in the link in the description below. Now, for the part you've all been waiting for, can you play this? Well, after doing some extensive research on whether I can legally release this, I have no clue. But I'm going to do it anyways, as I believe that it should be fine as long as I'm not trying to make any money off of it. My main motivation behind making this project is to simply create more hype for Silk Song's eventual release. Also, I found some other Silk Song fan games on the internet, so I should be fine, right? Plus, Team Cherry has demonstrated in the past that they are a very nice company and are more than happy with people making content about their games, within reason, unlike some companies. Furthermore, I designed it so the game is embedded to the website so that it cannot be downloaded. Hopefully. Such that for any reason I'm informed that I'm not allowed to do this, I can easily stop the distribution of this game. So feel free to try it out on the link in the description below whilst you still can. Anyways, I won't spoil your experience anymore and let you try it out for yourself. But let me know if you manage to be my time. Good luck! Okay, how do I- okay. Um, I got this. The end. Question mark? Wait, no, this is the end. There's no need for a question mark. Wait, wait, I mean, no, this is not the end of the channel, but like, the the end of the video? Uh, ah! Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, blah, blah.